वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंस्पायरिंग ब्रेन्स दिस इज हरी कंप्लीटेड फिजियोथेरेपी करंटली डूइंग मेडिसिन एंड अ पार्ट टाइम बायोलॉजी फैकल्टी सो इन दिस पार्ट आई विल बी कवरिंग अबाउट द थोरैक्स हेड एंड नेक न्यूरोनाट हिस्टो एंड एम्ब्रियो थोरैक्स स्टार्ट विद योर इंटरकोस्टल स्पेस देन गो विद द ऑर्गेन्स ऑफ कोर्स एवरीवन विल हैव अफिनिटी टुवर्ड्स हार्ट राइट फ्रॉम योर चाइल्डहुड सो हार्ट एंड लंग्स एदर थिंग यू हैव टू स्टडी द रिलेशंस दैट्स इट For me, it's the thorax which is considered as a easier portion among the entire anatomy. So, of course, it is also easier for you. We will cover it. Intercostal space, heart, lungs. You can cover all over. That's it. So, when you go for head and neck, one of the toughest portion in anatomy is head and neck. You know why? Because you cannot appreciate, you cannot touch and feel in the head and neck. That's why it's highly evaporating. So, for studying head and neck, the thing is. you should do or you should correlate and you should study as much as time as possible for example if i started for the first time i'll forget soon if i started for the second time forget soon so start as soon as possible and study as much as possible if i study 10 times then the amount of forgetness is very low if i study for one time and i can't write anything in the exam that's hidden neck a clever portion so once you study and repeatedly study everything you can surely write everything you know in the head and neck that's important for neuro or not neuro or not is very simple start with some surface suprolateral and medial surface and study the nuclei once you're done with the nuclei you are going to play a game just nothing but treasure hunt what will do in the treasure hunt you have to find the clue to get to the desired location right same way you have to start from the nuclei and you have to finish in the spinal cord with the clues given you have to find the clue you have to find what is present in the internal capsule you have to find why the tract is going in the anterior side why is going in the lateral side if you find that clue then you'll correlate everything and study everything that's neuroanatomy it will be good to study like a treasure hunt done so once you're done with thorax head and neck neuroanat go with histo and embryo embryology so when they took the classes embryology classes it's like poor scripted story why because we cannot can connect everything we cannot connect anything that's the important thing it's like what is there what is this what is that it is like an entire empty class that will be embryology but believe me once you know how to study embryology it is easy remember in the exam either it will become as five mark or a sub question in the essay right for that you have to write two or three pages for that you have to know just five points to that concept that's important that's it you don't have to cram everything that is given in the embryology that is not at all possible just study five points a five important points to write a story for three pages that's it embryology is over come on man i have studied the embryology in the last month it is very easy if i follow the five points rule right going with the histo once they took the histo it's like oh my god it's like pink color so it's so lovely so they uh, we all went to the lab and the mam is saying some features and when i look at the microscope all i can appreciate is a pink color nothing more than that they are saying many features many distinguishing features all i know is pink color so it's like whether i have some eye problem or or we blind guys it's like the first screaming emotion in the first histology class and as the class progresses it's like just window shopping I'll just look into the microscope just look there just look there because it's our canteen time or vadayakas uh, waiting outside so it's time for us to have something so it's like window shopping i'll see every microscope every pink color and i'll go i'll only appreciate the things if at all the heading is in the slide otherwise we doesn't know anything except pink it will be lovely right this is how we started the histology and for studying histology only two things one is for embry- uh, examination view and another is practical purpose for examination last 10 days or 20 days is needed you can study two slides per day and you can cover it up for practical the important thing is you have to watch it watch it as soon as possible and watch it as much as possible idu nee pannite irukke irukke irukka da you will understand what is present what are the futures how you can distinguish that's for practical purpose everybody will have some good histology memories right histological lab memories where how you will see the 
in some cases we doesn't know whether to on or off the microscope so if at all you have some good memorable histological story histological lab story just don't forget to put it in the comment box it's excited to see all those things so once you cover the embryology and histology your embryo and histo comes to an over and it's okay to cover the entire things it's already done right so in part 1 the first paper is covered the part 2 the entire second paper is covered so if at all you need some question to be detailedly explained just put it in the comment box below if you feel this video is useful don't forget to click the subscribe button and tap the bell icon happy to see you in my next video bye